hello all and welcome to my channel so in this video i'm gonna demonstrate about bigquery architecture but first let's just see what exactly bigquery is so bigquery is a fully managed serverless and highly scalable data warehouse designed for large scale data analytics got it so fully managed means it's already managed you don't have to manage this unlike uh, you manage your SQL workbench or Oracle database and all it's fully managed serverless what does serverless means so serverless means like a developer can write and run their code without managing the server directly they just focus on writing the code for what they want their app or website to do and a serverless platform take care of everything else like scaling the resources managing security and making sure the code run smoothly so everything will be done by your cloud provider you don't have to worry about anything just as a developer you have to focus on your code just write code and everything else will be done by your cloud provider that is your serverless right and as you all know it's a data warehouse data warehouse is nothing but uh, it's just like a container wherein you store your uh, structured data okay and why it why we are using this bigquery to uh, for large scale data analytics purpose right it's so simple guys pretty simple fair enough cool now let's talk about the bigquery architecture so um, bigquery architecture consists of three main components first is a dremel okay and the second one is colisys and the third one is jupiter all right so these are the components of bigquery architecture cool so in short i'll tell you compute is sorry dremel is your compute fine in short i'm telling just in short we will look into in depth in a while but in short your compute is dremel cool and storage is your colises cool and jupiter is nothing but it's a network protocol it's a network protocol which connects dremel and colises fine okay so anytime you write any query let's suppose i write select star from table name okay so this is the query you wrote on bigquery console after writing the query it will get stored in colises because it's a storage part right and you need to run this query or execute this query so where this execution will get happen it will happen in the dremel because dremel is a computation part got it and both dremel and colises will get connected with each other with the help of jupiter fine we'll talk about this um, in depth don't worry but before that let's see a neatly diagram okay so this is diagram or i can call it as architecture bigquery architecture of bigquery so here as you can see this is a storage part so i already told you so storage part is your colises and this is dremel which is your computation part and both are connected using petabit network that we call it as jupiter petabit network cool so these are nothing but your data center or racks right colises because it's a storage part and dremel dremel we have certain components we have like root server we have leaf nodes and we have mixers that i'll explain you in a bit don't worry about it so this is a colises which is a storage part where you store your all of your query and you will compute using dremel and both of these will get connected with they, these two will communicate among each other with the help of jupiter petabyte network fine 
सो नाउ लेट्स सी द कंपोनेंट ऑफ ड्रैमल इन डेप्थ सो सी वेन एवर यू रोट एनी क्वेरी दैट विल गेट स्टोर इन द स्टोरेज पार्ट फाइन दैट इज आर कॉलिसिस नाउ द मेन थिंग इज एग्जीक्यूशन पार्ट द मेन थिंग इज योर एग्जीक्यूशन पार्ट सो एग्जीक्यूशन विल गेट हैपन इन ड्रैमल राइट सो नाउ लेट सी वन बाय वन वॉट रूट सर्वर डज वॉट मिक्सर डज वॉट लीफ नोड डज राइट सो सी इन ड्रैमल ओके वेन एवर यू राइट एनी क्वेरी इट विल गेट स्टोर इन कॉलेज वेयर हेयर राइट बिकॉज दिस इज द स्टोरेज पार्ट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगेन लेट मी राइट सेलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम टेबल नेम सो दिस विल गेट स्टोर इन कॉलेज राइट देन लीफ नोड कम्स इन टू द पिक्चर सो वॉट लीफ नोड डज लीफ नोड रीड्स द डेटा लीफ नोड रीड्स द डेटा फ्रॉम कॉलेज ओके एनी डेटा एनी क्वेरी यू रोट इन कॉलेज दैट विल गेट रीड यूजिंग लीफ नोड ऑफ ड्रैमल सो वंस द डेटा गेट रेड from using leaf node with the help of leaf node okay so aggregation will get happen any aggregation will get happen in mixture so the uh, function of mixture is to do the data aggregation so data aggregation will get happen in mixture okay and data reading will get happen in leaf node so leaf node will read the data from colises and any data aggregation if it is there then it will get happen in mixture part and what is the use of then uh, root server so root server is nothing but it coordinates with mixture and leaf node okay so in simple it coordinates with mixtures and leaf node i hope it is clear guys right so you got the idea what exactly is colisis so let me again refresh you first let's talk about uh, dremel part so in simple layman term i can say that compute is dremel which is a large multi tenant cluster that executes sql queries right dremel turns your sql queries into execution tree it, it is just like a tree like where it is a root server there are mixers and there are leaf node so you can say that dremel turns sql queries into execution trees and the leaf of the tree are called slots and do the they do the heavy lifting of reading data from storage and uh, necessary computation they will do the branches of the tree are mixtures these are called edge branches which performs basically data aggregation fine if i talk about colises so in simple layman term i already told you that colises is your storage it's a google's global storage system bigquery leverages the columnar storage format and compression algorithm to store data in colises which is optimized for reading large amount of structured data so uh, why bigquery is faster because bigquery stores data in columnar format columnar format right if i talk about normal relational database database dbms management system they store their, their data in row format right so if you store data in row format then reading will be slower okay reading will be slower but if you store data in columnar format then reading will be more faster right so that is the reason bigquery is faster compared to normal relational database because a bigquery stores data in columnar format so in colises colises stores the data in columnar format and also it applies some compression algorithm to store the data in colises right and uh, basically what this jupiter this jupiter i mean uh, it communicates it connects the dremel okay this dremel and this colises it connects the two things colises and dremel this is the job of a jupiter and the whole component okay this whole component this whole component is orchestrated 
via Borg. So let me write at the bottom. So I can say BigQuery is orchestrated via Borg. Simple. So I hope it is clear to you guys what was BigQuery, what was BigQuery architecture, right? What is the use of Dremel, what Dremel does, what Colossus does, what Jupyter does, right? Now let's see uh, some of the facts about BigQuery architecture. Let me write at the bottom, okay? So as we all know, like already I have explained you like BigQuery is a serverless architecture. So the very first thing I can call it as BigQuery is a serverless architecture, right? So this, this BigQuery serverless architecture, this decouples both storage and compute storage and compute this bigquery architecture decouples storage and compute and allow them to scale independently on demand got it guys so if you purchase any server in that case you have to pay upfront amount but in case of bigquery suppose if you want to use bigquery for a storage purpose only then you have to pay for a storage only if you want to use for computation purpose, then you have to pay for computation only. So it decouples storage and compute so that they scale independently. Okay, so that they scale independently on demand. And it is cheaper as compared to your commodity hardware. If you want to know more about pricing, then you can always go to uh, its pricing page. You can search on Google pricing page about BigQuery. Then you will see the storage cost is different and computation cost is different. That is why BigQuery will cost less compared to your commodity hardware, right? And this BigQuery architecture, it offers two things. One is flexibility, right? One is flexibility and another is it, it controls the cost. So I can say cost control, okay? Because you don't need to keep your expensive compute resources up and running all the time, right? You don't need to run your uh, high resources all the time. No. So BigQuery, it's pay per use, pay per use model. Whenever you use, you have to pay for that amount only, right? I think these are some of the facts regarding BigQuery architecture. So this was a interview point of view question and uh, it's very easy guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.